Hi there, this is Jonathan Ginsberg. I'm a Social Security Disability Attorney. And today, today I'd like to talk about what I consider to be the recipe for a successful Social Security Disability Claim, specifically five items on that recipe that I think uh, make your case a lot stronger and really improve your chances at winning. So what are the five things that I look for and I think that judges look for in a disability case? First of all, judges prefer people, claimants, over the age of 50. There's a built-in bias in Social Security Disability Law for people over age 50. The grid rules uh, really only apply if you're over age 50. Social Security believes that people over age 50 are going to have a more difficult time adjusting to a new type of job or finding entry-level work in the economy. So if you're over age 50, there is an automatic uh, bias in your favor. It doesn't mean you can't win if you're younger than that, but the younger you go uh, from age 50, the stronger the medical evidence has got to be. So a person age 30 with back problems is going to need significant back problems, multiple disc herniations and surgical orders and so forth, whereas a person over age 50 won't need quite that much. In my practice, I typically are looking, I'm looking for people age 45 or older, because again, even at age 45, it's more difficult to adjust to, a, to an entry-level type of job, and I find that judges typically give people the benefit of the doubt if they've got a long work history and so forth, which is actually um, item number two and that is that judges in disability cases prefer people with a long and consistent work history. If you've been working someplace or a couple of different jobs for 20 or 25 years, most judges are going to assume that you're not going to just give that up to sit at home for two or three years waiting for Social Security disability. It's especially true if you're giving up a career. I've had a lot of teachers as clients and a lot of these folks, it was a calling. Uh, they can't work anymore because of some sort of a medical problem and they have to stop working. Judges are sympathetic to that, that people don't leave long-time uh, profitable careers where there's socialization to sit at home to collect, for dis to collect disability, wait to collect disability. So I think that a long and consistent work history is a really important factor. Number three, I think that uh, in a disability case, judges really prefer claims where your medical problem can be imaged, meaning that there's an MRI or a CT or an ultrasound or there's some objective test. It could be called cardiopulmonary testing. It could be some uh, testing for even for diabetes of blood sugar, where we can see uh, on, on some sort of objective documentation what's going on. Much easier to win those cases as opposed to a depression case or a fibromyalgia case where there is no objective evidence and it's much more subjective on the part of a treating doctor or from your testimony. So the more objective you can be, the better. Number four, judges prefer cases where there is a definitive diagnosis. They want to know what's going on. You have multiple herniated discs that results in limitation of movement as well as severe back pain. You're a type 1 diabetic and your blood sugar cannot be controlled. It gets either too high or too low. Um, anything where there's a definitive diagnosis, and that's where even cases where there's, that are a little more difficult because there's no objective evidence like PTSD or depression, but if you have a definitive diagnosis, if you've got two or three psychiatrists or psychologists saying, yes, this person has major depression uh, with psychotic features, uh, or this person has uh, PTSD uh, and his uh, functioning level, the GAF level, is 45, that's, uh, that's much more helpful than to have diagnoses all over the place or not even a definitive diagnosis at all. Um, Number five, judges prefer that you treat with a specialist as opposed to a family doctor. I know this can be difficult because you may not have the money for a specialist, but your case is going to be a lot stronger if you've got treatment records from a specialist. And let's talk about back cases. A general practitioner, a family doctor, can talk about your back case, but it's much stronger if an orthopedist has reviewed it, identified multiple herniated discs, and recommended surgery. So the more 
you have with a specialist, the better. And if you can get a functional capacity evaluation from one or more specialists, that's really strong too. So those are some of the things I think that are part of the recipe. If you've got these things, doesn't guarantee you're going to win. It just means that your case is that much stronger. So hope you found this helpful. Uh, like your comments. Uh, what do you think? Do you, do you disagree? Do you agree with my, my analysis of this? Um, please let me know. Please leave a comment on the YouTube channel or the Facebook page. Uh, subscribe to our YouTube channel and our Facebook page. I think you'll find very helpful information there. And if you've not already done so, go to my website, ssdanswers.com. You can download my free Secrets to Winning Disability Survival Kit. And I think you'll find a lot of good information there. It's delivered by email. Um, if we can be of assistance to you, please reach out to my firm. Happy to chat with you or give you an analysis of what I think uh, your case is all about. Again, my name is Jonathan Ginsberg. I wish you all the best. Thanks a lot. Hi, this is Jonathan Ginsberg, and I hope you found this video helpful. If you'd like to know more about how to win your Social Security Disability case, I'd like to invite you to download my Secrets to Getting Approved Early Survival Kit that I created just for people like you. Currently, I'm making the survival kit available at no cost, and I encourage you to grab your copy now. Some of the topics I cover include, how do I know if I have a case? Is it the right time for me to file my claim? Nine common mistakes that can doom your case. The three must-have arguments you use to win your case. And a topic that every disability claimant wants to know, how to avoid trick questions from the judge. If you or a loved one need to win Social Security Disability Benefits, you'll find this survival kit essential reading. Download your survival kit right now and at no cost. Just visit ssdanswers.com backslash survival and sign up. It's that easy. Please act now. And as always, I wish you the best.